The movie Curse of the Golden Flower uh, came out in about 2006. It is now on sale for DVD. Highly recommend it. Uh, it has Chow Yun-Fat and Gong Li. Uh, is directed by the same guy who did Hero and House of the Flying Daggers, uh, another movie that I really like. This one is about the Chinese uh, imperial family in the Forbidden City. Uh, basically, it is the story of just basically any royal family with intrigue and people trying to get the crown for themselves. You know, just basically big power plays, almost Shakespearean, but not quite. And uh, it's pretty good. The action is what you would expect from the director. It's, it's just fantastic. The cinematography is outstanding. The set pieces are amazing. If you have a theater background like I do, live theater background, you have an appreciation for sets and what goes behind to create them and stuff like this. This movie is, if for nothing else, watch it because of the scenery, the sets, the props. It is truly amazing. It is worth the rental. You won't find it on Redbox. You're going to have to either get it through Amazon.com or go to your local um, um, video store. But I highly, highly, highly recommend this movie. Stop what you're doing right now and go and rent this movie. Baltimore has a new uh, chain of restaurants. Actually, there's only two of them, but the chain is international. It's called Freshy with two eyes at the end. Uh, there's one location in downtown Baltimore, uh, right on Pratt Street there, and Pratt and Light, and the other one is up on St. Paul near Johns Hopkins. It's a neat little place. We went to the one in Johns Hopkins, and it's very clean. It's very, it's very Ikea. It's very, you know, just like a lot of space, and everything's pretty simple and simple um, um, design of, of the place, but the food itself is actually really good. Uh, they use only the freshest available meats, vegetables, um, fruits, and things like that, and you have a choice. You can either choose what's on the menu, which is actually pretty good, or you can kind of like make your own, and they give you a little clipboard and a little, you know, thing to check off boxes on what you want. You can even get one of their entrees and then go to the clipboard and say, okay, this is what else I want with it. Um, of course, you know, they charge you a little bit extra, but that's fine. Um, they also have a yogurt dessert, which, you know, you bas it's basically a tart um, yogurt, vanilla yogurt, and then you can put your toppings on it. It's very neat, um, very refreshing. If you're a vegetarian, this is a wonderful place for you. If you're like me, and every now and again you get sick of hamburgers and you want something different, this is also a good place to go to. It's pretty reasonable, so if you're in the area, if you are a college student at Johns Hopkins, this isn't a budget buster. Uh, I encourage you to go to this place. It's, it's pretty neat.